Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It is new comic book day again. Um, do I need to say that each time I do a video? I probably do, I suppose. It's polite. Uh, how are you guys? Have you got to your stores? Have you picked up your books? Uh, your games? DVDs? Uh, whatever you is. Whatever you is? Not quite right, is it? No, whatever you do and whatever you collect, I hope you got it. Or well, just in case you spend time with your loved ones, I hope you're doing that too. Either way, I hope you're having a great weekend. It is Saturday today. It's a rainy Saturday. So I probably won't be venturing out of the house too much today. Not unless I can really help it. Um, I probably gotta go and see my mum today and do all the usual stuff, you know. You know, that's cool. I don't mind doing that. Um, when you go around your mum's, you always get free food, which is always good. <laughs> so I definitely in a moment with that. Uh, I might cut the hair today. Uh, the hair is getting long, you know. Look, it's, it, that's long for me. You know, if you look at my other videos, you've never seen it this long. And look, look, this is what happens to my hair, it's that long. Come on, look at the state of that. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wash that. I'm going to wash it and then cut it. I'm going to cut it and wash it. I don't know. It's fucking going one way or another. I mean, you got to shave as well. The problem is, when I've got my hair this long, all the grey comes through. It makes me look old. Distinguished, even. But anyway, I'm waffling. I'm digressing. Uh, so... Reasonable stack today, as you can see there's a trade in there, and you probably what sort of trader is in there. I've got a few back issues as well, four. Oh, so that's my comic box where I hold things in. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Uh, we have Amazing Spider-Man number nine. Uh, finally we have uh, Spider-Verse part one, or is it really part one? I think it's probably more the end of Spider-Verse and the sort of entry into part one, but who knows. Um, Spider-Man's getting interesting for me again, which I quite like. Um, it's, it, I've, I've been finding, I ain't like, I've been finding it boring a bit recently. And my guy says, just keep holding on to it, keep keep picking it up, because it is going to pick up. And um, I trust him, you know, he, he knows what he's talking about. So I did. And it is picking up, you know, and I don't think anyone wants to be, <sighs> I'm not the biggest Spider-Man fan, but that's not to say I don't, I, I, you know, I, I appreciate what Spider-Man represents to the comic book world, and that's why I want to stick with it because I want, to, I want to get into it. So yeah, Spider Verse Part One, Amazing Spider-Man Part One. Finally, the last and final part of Superman Unchained. Um, nice right round cover. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the, the only reason I stuck with this book it was because of the, the well. The artwork got me into it with Jim Lee, um, but the story's pretty shit, to be fair. Um, and it, 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 you know, Jim Lee and Snyder, yeah, this could have been an amazing book, but unfortunately, due to scheduling and whatnot, this book just came out infrequently. I think this is like the, the last one of these came out two months ago, and then prior to that, it was like three or four months. I don't know, it's something stupid. But this is the last part, the final chapter, you know, and I stuck with it. I dropped it at issue seven. To be told that it was only going to issue nine, so I thought, well, you know what? I need two more fucking issues. Pick them up. Uh, we have X Access number four. Um, so I wasn't a big fan of this book. Uh, yeah, part one I didn't like at all. I thought it was crap. I actually said it was shit, and I do think it was shit for me. Anyway, uh, part two was good. Part three was awesome, especially with the uh, Evan at the end turned into he's no longer Kid Apocalypse. So that was amazing. Uh, so. Yeah, I think we're going to see some uh, some big characters come out of the storyline. Obviously, the new Apocalypse is going to be one of them. Um, they're also advertising... What are they advertising here? They're advertising Spider-Verse in here. So what have we got in here? Spider-Man 2099. Spider-Verse Team-Up. I see, I looked at Spider-Verse Team-Up. and not, I was tempted and I'm just like, meh, I don't know. I was, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of pissed off with time books at the moment. They... they I've, I, I, I'm so disappointed at the amount of money time books take off me, so I ain't bothered. Get Scarlet Spiders. That's what we got here. Uh, Captain America. Spider Man and the X Men. Oh, okay. A bit interesting. So, it looks like Wolverine and X Men's gone to be replaced with Guest of the Princes by the other Zeros. Like when Robin died, it was Batman and. Raz al Ghul, Batman and Two-Face. I wonder if they're going to do the same thing, you know. Uh, Spider-Man, X-Men, Captain America, X-Men, you know, things like that. 
be interesting they do. Anyway, not for doing this, Axis Part 3. We have Batman Eternal 31. Uh, last issue, Arkham Asylum got burnt to the ground and yeah, we all kicked off and Alfred's on the loose with Bane and I love this book. Although apparently they're gonna be doing a year too. Wow. I'm kind of you know, as much as I love this book, you know, I think Batman Eternal is great. As much as I love this, I'm kind of looking forward to when it ends because four books a month is a lot. You know, that's I could be getting three other books ready, couldn't I? Um, so yeah, they're gonna do a year two. <sighs> I don't know. I want to say no, but I know it'll probably be yes. I will pick it up. It's like, mm, I don't know. Uh, Birthright number two. Uh, issue one was fantastic. Um, about a kid that got sort of sucked into another dimension as a child. Um, they all thought his father killed him, and then like 20 years later, the kid reappears, all Conan esque, um, saying he's like the, the new king of some fairy tale world and that he's the savior for the people in it. And because he was the champion of the world, he can come home. Um, unbeknownst to us, he's not actually the champion of the world. He failed his task, and he's now a um, uh, an agent of the fucking demon or devil. Well, not devil, but you know the evil king. And uh, he's gone to Earth to destroy it. Um, I highly recommend picking that up. It's got some great artwork in it, and it's um, it's, it's something a bit different. Um, you know, it's definitely worth picking up. Definitely worth picking up. But again, if you're watching this video, you know that anyway. Uh, we have Seven Bastards number five. I picked up the first trade of this last month and I read it and I thought it was fucking awesome. Um, really up my street. Uh, but I I thought, you know what, let's give issue five a go. Um, it's, it's a nice gritty tale and it's like, you know, you've got Jason Aaron and Jason Latour. They're both good old country boys and it's, they're, they're, they're sort of writing about something they know about. Um, which will translate in the book and it's just a bit gritty, it's a bit fun it's very good, I'm trying to track down the first four issues um, I'm watching a couple on eBay but they're going for good money we have Icon Comics uh, Minerath 2 um, the first issue this was really good um, yeah, they killed a baby uh, which is really, well, you know um, it turns out that oh, do I don't want to give too much away Basically, it's about the men of Wrath. Wrath are these people. Wrath is a family, and throughout their generations, they've always been hide killers. And it looks like it's going to be Wrath on Wrath. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, it's really good. It's, it's quite. It's nice. It, it annoys me that Marvel feel they have to put these sort of books out under a different press, um, Icon Press. You know, I, I understand they want a bit of brand identity and stuff, but. You know, I don't know. I, I, I just don't see. It. I don't. Why just you know, go with it? If you if you believe in a book, just be print it. That's what I think. Uh, we have Rasputin number one. I meant to pick this up last month, uh, last week, but I forgot. Um, so it's image number one. Um, it's about Rasputin, I guess. I haven't read it. I don't know. It's not. There's not a lot of. Um, there's not a lot of. Um, <laughs> it ain't gonna take you long to read this book. Cause there ain't much. Uh, reading to do but the art is fantastic um, if anyone read Origins Wolverine Origins 2 in the first episode then it just basically told the story through the art similar kind of thing so it's an image number one pick it up you know and finally we picked up a trade Walking Dead uh, trade 22 um, can't wait to read this um, Walking Dead is just fantastic um, anyone who's not reading it should be um, I read it in trade um, mainly because I jumped on the boat about five years too late, so I wish I was around when it first came out to pick up books, but I'm not. And you know, I like reading trade; it works well in trade. Um, but yeah, I can't afford to get the investment into the back issues. Um, so this is after All Out War, set a couple of years in the future, I think. Um, so some dynamics and change will not, which is really cool. And finally, with some back issues, um, I've got these back issues off a fellow YouTuber. Uh, Drew Carson um, done me an awesome deal uh, he had a couple of um, uncanny books I wanted and uh, he let me have them stupidly stupidly cheap and uh, I really appreciate it he checked in a freebie and uh, he has his own eBay store so there you go 
I read that. Okay, so this is only based on he says comics, and uh, it's the good, the bad, and the fanboy. And um, you know, the good, the bad, the fanboy at outlook.com if you want any questions or need anything. Uh, Drew's a great guy, he really hooked me up, and um, yeah, I really appreciate it. So, thank you, Drew. Uh, so yeah, I, I picked up uh, Antenna X Men 208, and uh, it came bag and boarded, and the packaging was superb, you know. Oh dear. Little note from Drew there, keep that. And uh, yeah, 212. And 204. I love that front cover, I don't know why, but it's, I love the colours on that cover. I love the little doom buggy here, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's uh, three more books to my collection, so that's fantastic, get across them off. And he also chucked in, uh, this is a freebie, because uh, he's, he's a nice guy like that. Um, it's called Hard Times, and it's, uh, it's number one. And it was done by DC, and this deals with a very delicate subject of um, like school shootings, you know the Columbine stuff and that. It's a similar sort of storyline. It was printed in two thousand four, and um, it's a very brave story to uh, to undertake. And it's done in a very it's not done in a, a gratuitous manner. I don't think. I think it's done well. So thanks, Drew. That was a really nice surprise, and I really do appreciate it, mate. So yeah. If you, if you want to check out the store, go to eBay. It's the good, the bad, and the fanboy. Um, yeah, check out the stuff. So that's it, folks. That's, that's all I've got today. Um, I have got an eBay purchase which I paid uh, quite a bit for. I'm not going to tell the wife how much I paid, but it was it was a sort of um, it was a good investment because I think um, some of it I already have. So I'm going to turn that straight around and flip it straight on eBay. And I should, I reckon, to be honest with you, I'll probably make about two-thirds of my money back. And so I'll end up with a cheap, some cheap books at the end of it. But, you know, sometimes you've got to speculate to accumulate. And it was just a case of, I was looking for these books for ages, and I just thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll just pull the trigger. Because um, otherwise it's never going to happen otherwise. So, yeah. So that's what picks it up, folks. Um, if you take the time to watch this video and you made it all the way to the end, well, then, you know, you've got some time on your hands. <laughs> um, I'm going to go and read some books. Uh, the Wife's Away at the Father Laws this weekend, which is um, good for her. It's good for me because I can read some books. And I'm, I'm going to put uh, a bit of Call of Duty on now and uh, just enjoy it and um, eat some crap food because she ain't here to turn me off for eating it. Uh, so that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Um, Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.